Hello friends, I'm Moom and today I'm gonna tell you about Linux Mint 22, also known as Wilma. And I must say, the King Kong of Linux never disappoints. So let's get started. You see, there are not very exciting and flashy, intriguing features and updates. But this time, they have improved a few things and added a nice app. Well, let's start with the improvements. You see, the Nemo file manager has been improved. One of the exciting new features is the ability to customize the Nemo file manager's right-click context menu. This will allow users to add new actions such as opening a folder in the terminal or running a checksum on an ISO. This will be especially helpful for those users who install a lot of Nemo extensions and all that kind of stuff. And it's also very great for file management. And yes, organizing your study material. And yeah, I know I have not combed my hair and it doesn't look that great. But I just got out of the bath and I had to shoot this video. So yeah, I'll try that next time. Now moving ahead, we have a new feature of the system. Or I should say, a new app integration in the system. Matrix. You see, Matrix is an open source, decentralized messaging platform that prioritizes security and customizations. Unlike the traditional messaging apps controlled by a single company, Matrix operates on a network of servers, giving users more control over their data and privacy. You know, your messages are scrambled from the sender to the recipient, ensuring that only authorized parties can read them, which are the receiver and the sender only. And unlike the centralized platforms, Matrix isn't controlled by a single entity. This reduces the risk of data breaches and censorship. And you can connect with users on other Matrix servers even if they're using a different messaging client. And the Matrix networks allows a high degree of customization with features like custom emojis, bots and bridges to other messaging platforms. You know, all the things which popular messaging app doesn't have. But Linux Mint had the guts to implement such amazing app in their system. And that is why it is also known as the King Kong of Linux. So overall, this particular update, or I should say Linux Mint 22 Wilma, is looking a promising update with new amazing features and god level integrations. Like, the next update will be amazing. And I guess it will be more new, subtle and better, to say the truth than Ubuntu 24.04 or even Fedora 40 because Linux Mint 22 keeps the promise that it will stay the most amazing, stable and powerful Linux distro ever. And that's the reason it is called the King Kong of Linux because it never disappoints. And you can even install GNOME and KDE like desktop environments on Linux Mint which seems like an impossible job but not for Linux users. And I've made a video about that. There. I guess it'll be very useful for you. Because, you know, we all get bored with cinnamon-like desktop always. You know, on the traditional taskbar and that. And I know there are a few customization of cinnamon desktop environment. But they're not as much great as proper, you know, all that flashy modern desktops like Chrome, KDE or even Cosmic. Maybe I should create a video about how to install Cosmic on Linux Mint. Yes, that seems like a great idea. But yeah, let's wait till it releases properly and then I'll create that. But for that, you must subscribe for daily dose of awesomeness content uploaded on this channel. And I'll meet you in the next video with better hair and also calmed. So, I'm O, signing out.